it's November 7th, 2021, and welcome to episode 49 of Dinner from the Dining Car. Today we're going to make the Canadian Pacific, uh, excuse me a second, let me make sure I know what I'm talking about here, the Small Tenderloin Canadian Pacific style. Now the interesting thing is they call it a tenderloin, but it's actually breakfast steaks. Uh, I guess the tenderloin just sounds better on the menu. Well, we uh, recently got a cat, so you may hear him in the video, and he may jump on the table, down, yeah, you know the rules, down, get down, good boy. Uh, and he's still undergoing adjustments and still learning things, but so if he jumps on the table and gets in the shot, I won't be a bit surprised. Anyway, here's what y'all are going to need for this recipe. To start with, you're going to need four slices of sourdough bread. Uh, you're going to toast these and you're going to put them back, you know, bottom to bottom after you toast them on a plate and then you're going to serve the rest of the stuff on top of that bread. The rest of that stuff is you need a mushroom sauce. Now the recipe actually calls for a demi-glaze. However, I don't have any marrow bones with, with me today so I can't make a true demi-glaze. Instead, we're going to make two envelopes of brown gravy mix. This will work just as well. You're going to need about four ounces, that's half of this package, of sliced mushrooms. You're going to need, of course, your breakfast steaks. These I got fresh yesterday and they're very pretty. And now these are thin, so they're only going to cook about 30 to 45 seconds aside if you still want them a little rare. If you want them well done, cook them a minute aside but they cook quick. You're also going to need four slices of bacon. Two slices go on each steak. You're going to need our good friend butter. You're also going to need, and I have a herb garden so we're cool, some fresh parsley. This will get chopped up a little bit and served on top. What you do is you make the toast, you make the gravy, you pour the gravy on the toast, put the steaks on top, the bacon on top of that, and sprinkle the parsley on it. And to serve this, with this, we're making asparagus. Now, because we got it on sale, so you may want to consider, uh, if you don't care for asparagus, try Brussels sprouts. If you don't care for asparagus or Brussels sprouts, you could go with green beans or broccoli, and if you don't like any of those, you're on your own. Uh, so that's all you need for this recipe. It's amazingly simple. Of course you'll need some salt and pepper for the steak to season it. But that's it. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, you start your vegetables first because they'll take longer to roast. The asparagus will take about 20 minutes to roast. Uh, and then you start, you know, start your toast. Get the toast on the plate. Make your gravy. Then cook your steak, you cook your bacon. Uh, now, cooking the four slices of bacon, if you want, you can slap the bacon drippings into the gravy. That's, that's a suggestion. Uh, I'm going to take that suggestion because it just sounds a lot yummier. So anyway, there you have it, guys. Uh, so I guess that's it for this recipe. And we will be back later to actually do the cooking. We'll see you then. Okay All folks, right. we're back. We're gonna get started cooking. I've got a nice pan already hot here for the bacon. And you can tell from the sizzle that the pan's hot. Now when we're done with the bacon, we're gonna put it on a, a nice paper plate and keep it in the microwave to keep it hot.
What? Thank you. Well, that's going to be for the gravy. Meanwhile, we're going to open up the steaks and season them. Once we get the gravy started, we will start the steaks and the toast. Because we don't want the toast cold. Got my two cups of water for the gravy mix. Steaks, now I'm going to season the steaks with a simple steak seasoning. And we're going to cook those on the griddle, on the grill part portion of the griddle, which is getting nice and hot. Now remember, because these are thin steaks, they're going to cook quick. So, kind of like this bacon is doing. Oh, that's pretty. Take a look there. See how nice and pretty that bacon's cooking up? That's going to be delicious. Now, we're going to make the gravy in the same pan we're cooking the bacon in. That way it has the bacon grease in it too. We're going to need two cups of water, which I've already got in the container, in a Pyrex bowl, and the two envelopes of brown gravy mix, and a buttload of mushrooms. Yes, how many mushrooms are in a buttload? There's today's question. Meanwhile, we're going to soften the butter in the microwave. Now, for softening butter in a microwave, I suggest you go about uh, 30 seconds at the most. Otherwise, you melt the snot out of it. Starting to toast. Beautiful. Oh, that bacon is just about perfect. That is, oh, that is gorgeous bacon. What brand of bacon was this? Oh, I don't remember. Shoot. This was, oh, believe it or not, this was a store brand bacon. That's amazing. This was the Safeway Select smoked bacon. Look at how nice and gorgeous that came out. Okay, that's going to go into the microwave to keep it hot. Our softened, rather melted butter. This we're going to put on the steaks when we start to cook them. Now, we have our pan a little bit of bacon grease in it. We're going to add our water. And our two envelopes of gravy mix. I need to get... Ah, my steam's out. Okay, good. Excellent.
just stir this around. This will, uh, as it cooks, it'll start to. It'll start to melt all the clumps. And once it boils, we're going to add our mushrooms and turn it down to low to simmer because this will really already toast is done Already starting to get really nice. Now we're whisking it lightly to take any lumps out because we don't want lumpy gravy. Now we add our mushrooms. Again, this was half of an eight ounce package of mushrooms. Bring this up to a boil. This is gonna this is gonna cook pretty quickly. Stir it around. This already smells ridiculously good. Leaving the bacon drippings in there, definitely a plus. It just needs to be stirred more to get, to get all the little clumps, clumps and lumps out. Nothing worse than lumpy gravy, guys. Well, there are a few things worse than lumpy gravy. Crappy gravy is one of them. All right. Now that that's boiling, in there. Now that that's boiling, we're going to turn it down to low, and we're going to cover it with a very hot lid. All right. Now, move the camera a little closer here, so you can see the grill. Oops, don't get your hand in the shot, Tony. There you go. Oops, wrong direction. There. Here come the steaks. What did I do with my tongs? Now you notice these are good sized. I have to want the paper. steaks as if these weren't bad enough as if these weren't evil enough you're putting butter on them and then your steak seasoning after I straighten this one out a little bit because it kind of got Toast is up and ready. Mm. 
Yeah, these steaks are about a quarter of an inch thick, and then you just flip them over. We get the nice grill marks on them. A little more butter. And that will just cook onto the meat with a little more seasoning. A little more steak seasoning. Now I use a Montreal steak seasoning. I just find that it's fantastic. So that's what I use. If you're looking for it, looking for the place to get it uh, a little less expensive, you can get it at the 99 cent store. You can also get it at Aldi for a pretty darn reasonable price. It's starting to get a little smoky in here from using the grill. Looks like I gotta open that window. Oh, that window is open. Judy, are you in here? Open the front door and turn this fan on. Because we're getting a little smoky in here. The tornado over here. We thought I had some nice flavor. Those steaks are pretty much done. How's the gravy? Oh, that's lovely. Okay, folks, I'm going to stop the camera for a little bit, reposition it, and we'll plate this up and you can see what it looks like. We'll be back in just a minute. Okay, y'all, here we go. We're going to plate this up now. I hope my battery's got enough life to do this. Some of the gravy. Some of this delicious looking gravy. Oh, plenty of mushrooms in it too. For those of you, for those of you who love mushrooms, you're gonna really enjoy this dish. Don't walk into the shot. Whew! Got smoky in here. Now, we come over here, we grab a steak. We pop that over there like that. <coughs> Excuse me, it's smoky in here. And two strips of bacon. There you have it. Uh, that's it for this recipe, guys. I told you that was simple. Uh, this is the tenderloin of beef, Canadian Pacific style. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, want copies of the recipe, email me at dinnerfromthediningcar at yahoo.com. Anyway, thank you all for coming along on this ride. If you cook this, I hope you enjoy it. And if, if you could only smell how incredibly insane this is in here, this is really tasty. Let me get Judy's plate. Anyway, that's it, folks. Here's the other one. There's the other one. That's Judy's version. Cross it across with two strips of bacon. Anyway, there it is, guys. There you have it. Thank you for watching. Thanks for coming along on this ride. And I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful night. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.